Welcome back, my friends, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go uh, do some vendor selling, first of all, and uh, we're going to do uh, start working on vendor quests some more. Uh, we want to really, or I rather, want to really crank towards uh, the 2,000 research data that we need in order to do the gasoline. Uh, so we're almost halfway there, as you can see. And so, yeah, that's the plan for today. I went down uh, to the parking garage this morning and uh, just kind of repaired, did some real basic repairs, repaired all the main supports of the building and so forth. And um, I'm pretty much out of concrete or, well, not completely out of concrete. We have a little bit left, but I am out of uh, iron. Yeah, I'm like completely out of iron ingots and plates. So I'm going to have to do some iron, uh, some ironing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to do some ironing. I have to do some mining later on. Um, I have uh, all of the extra armor, mostly armor, a few of the weapon types of things, but mostly the extra armor that I have. I've uh, repaired everything that I have, resources to repair. A couple of things I ran out of iron, but uh, we're going to sell this stuff. I do have a uh, sugar butts in our inventory for that too. Just make a little bit of cash there. I still have a ton of spare tools and weapons that I need to go through, fix up, and sell too. So, um, yeah, all of this stuff here, there's a lot of duplicates in here. But I, the problem right now is, I, again, I don't have the resources to repair all that stuff, stuff first. And, of course, we don't really want to sell it until we repair it. Another thing I discovered is um, it appears like an Undead Legacy, adding a mod to a piece of armor actually reduces the value of both items. So take a look at this. This iron chest armor sells for 465 just straight up as it is, this green iron chest armor. The bandolier sells for 106 by itself, okay? Now, if I put the bandolier on the chest armor, notice that it's currently 465. It now drops the price down to 559, which basically means I'm making less money by about six, seven, by about seven dukes uh, by selling these two together than if I sold them separately. So that's very interesting to note. Um, let's take a look and see if the same thing applies to this mining helmet and the mining light. Okay, so the mining helmet is 767. The light is 106. So if I put the light on it, it now makes, uh, actually makes a bigger uh, uh, okay, so th in this case, it does, we do get more money. So very interesting. Okay, so I guess what that means is we're gonna ha we're gonna have to check. I mean, if we want to maximize our money, we're gonna have to check and see what works with what. I wonder if there's any chance that this would make a difference on leg armor instead of chest armor. So this leg armor is two seventy two. If we put this on. It drastically reduces the price. That seems weird. That seems almost broken, in fact. I don't know. That's really odd. So uh, so from you know what we've seen here, the bandolier, anyways, does not seem to increase the value. Let's try this. This is 103. Now, that one did. That increased the value. Oh, you know what I think it might be now that I think about it? I think it's the it's the level. That's right. I forgot about that. That's an alpha 20 thing. Okay, so you you only get the the way that works is you only get a bonus. You make extra money if it's a higher quality item. I think in vanilla it's level 5 and 6 that it's worth it. Um so it appears like E level and below it's not worth it. But with D level, uh, or C level rather, oh, just got an amber alert that came in on the phone there. Um, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot about that. That's a new alpha 20 thing. So with this, then we would make more money by selling this by itself. 164 modify, yeah, 197. So we definitely want to sell the, the helmet light separate or... More importantly, because this is a C level, so right now this is 553. So C level and higher, maybe D level. What's a D level item? That's a D level item. 
So definitely sea level and higher, you make more money if you put it on, if you combine the mod. I'm not sure about D level. So do I even have a mod that I could put on there just to check that? Yeah, we do. We had a chain mod. Okay, so let's just look at this. So right now, this is 324. Uh, the chain mod is 106. Looks like all those mods are 106. Okay, so 324, 454. So it looks like it is also worth putting mods on D level items in Undead Legacy. But E level, it does not appear to be worth it because this is an E level item. And when we put the, um, whatchamacallit, the bandolier on here, we actually made less money. So that's, looks like that's it. So, so D level and up, it's worth putting mods on to, you know, to make more money. And then, of course, really the ideal thing if you want to totally max things out is to put the mods on the highest level stuff you have with so i'm going to actually hang on to that i'm not going to do that um and so for so, so probably we should probably make some kind of rule where we won't modify anything below c um in the long run it's not going to matter because i mean we're going to have tons and tons of money by the time it's said and done but so so for this series here's what i'm going to do I'm going to basically not mod anything that's below C. So if it's D or lower, we're not going to mod it when we sell it. If it's C or higher, we will. And we'll just run with that. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is let's go upstairs, get something to eat real quick, and then we're going to head over to the trader. We're going to sell this stuff. Um, yeah, we're a little bit overweight as it is, so we'll probably go to the trader first, then we'll go do the quest because I've got a bunch of these purple boots He's only going to buy up to three, and we have, um, depending upon how much traveling I want to do, uh, you know what I think I'll do, actually? The very max that we could sell is six. Well, we have, and we have six in there, don't we? Okay, well, we'll just take them all with, it, with us then. Uh, okay, so let's get something to eat here. Uh, let's see here. What can we eat? Uh, do I have any food in my inventory? I don't. What can we make right now? Uh, we could make a meat stew. Yeah, let's make a meat stew. Uh, we can make a fish taco. So let's make three fish tacos. I'm kind of hanging on to these two mushrooms that I have just, you know, because I am. <laughs> um, we could probably make another meat stew too. Uh, but one of the things we want to use our coin for is we want to buy beef stew and lamb rations those two things in particular so that we can keep making gumbo and keep making shepherd's pie which are two of the best foods in the game which we can already make uh, so it's just a matter of you know making sure we have the cans for that okie dokie let's take some uh, something to drink here i also have an empty fuel can um when i was doing some off-camera looting I found um, some fuel up in this spot, so we're going to head over there and, excuse me, grab that too. Okay, so how are we doing on our food? All right, guys, well, I'm just going to meet you back at, or meet you over at, I guess we're going to need one more of those, the trader, after this food's done, uh, and we'll do the salad, and then we'll go out and do some questing. So I'll see you at the trader. Okay, let's do some selling. Actually, I'm going to look in here first. Uh, we don't need the chicken. We don't need the chicken soup. I'm going to actually buy an oh shit's drops. Uh, we already have sugar butts. Yeah, okay, that's all we're going to... Uh, actually, you know what, though? How much does this cost? 48 cents? I think I need one more of those. I can make them, too, but we'll just get the one more. Okay, so let's go Greetings. ahead and take our sugar butts here. So we currently have, um, I've got the cigar in, the, in my mouth too. Uh, we currently have Duke's Casino tokens. Why don't we also wear our nerdies? Because we'll get a little extra XP for that. Um, and we want to make sure we don't sell the luckies that have the blue die on because I do have some extra luckies here. Okay, so let's take a look at your inventory. 
And we're going to sort by value first. So we'll start by selling as many of these as we can. Oh, I forgot to to look and see how much coin we started with. Well, so we're we're at seventeen thousand right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. He won't buy those anymore. Now let's sell the icebreaker pickaxe. Okay, that's it. We got it. everything sold to both of these guys. So that gets us up to 29,000 uh, in coin. Now, let's see, take a look and see what they got in their inventory. Nothing too impressive there. What's this guy, what does he have in his secret stash? And if only I could find a freaking, uh, that would be a nice shotgun to have. Uh, awesome. A gasoline schematic from one of these guys. Okay, let's take a look at his inventory. Yeah, it's all the stuff I sold him. Let's take a look at his secret. What does this do? Sneak better at 5% at night. Uh, I mean, that'd be nice to have. We're probably going to come across it, though, at some come point. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. All right. So that takes care of all of our sales. We don't even need to go to the other trader. So let's go ahead and do this quest next and get it knocked out because it's just right over here and then we'll kind of see where we're at. So I guess we start it down there. All right, well, let's put the bike up here. Uh, we did take a, a hit on the way over here, so let's take this to get that abrasion taken care of. Uh, I want to put this up here. Let's get our luckies back on. And we'll put our wrench down here, I guess. And I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so anything to kind of sort of double loot here to start with? Um, is there any corn over here that we can harvest? Looks like it's all dead. Let's see what's inside of here. Working stiffs. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is even better. All right, come on, game. Give us something good. A titanium pickaxe schematic. I am pretty sure we're going to want that, so we're going to learn it. Not that we can do anything about it right at the moment, but that was a nice find. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nah, okay, let's just get rolling here then. So this is a, a retrieve quest. Let's go back up here and look in this little shack again. And we now have a green corn plant too. Oh, I must have uh, come over here and harvested this at one point. I've, uh, actually, I did. I remember doing that now. Look at that, all these potatoes and corn. Nice. Very nice. We'll take the blueberries too, because why not, right? I was coming over to the trader at one point, and I saw that there, and I did stop and harvest it, so I just forgot that I had done that. Okay, let's go back in here again. Okay, another working stiff and passing gas. Uh, steel pickaxe, iron pickaxe, and some lockpicks. We need to make, I know I've said this a couple of times now, but we need to make the schematic for that. Workbench, we already know that, and a repair kit, we will take it. So I guess we are supposed to go in through this door here. It says unlocked. Let's open it up, take a look and see what we got going on in here. What's in here? Some lead. Alrighty, I take care of all that. Let's go back behind here. Any monsters back here? Not that I can see. 
A couple of mineral waters, always, always welcome. Some beer. Some rotten meat. And one more cupboard here with some yucca. All right, awesome. Yeah, I think that's about it for that spot. Let's sneak on upstairs. Yeah, our satchel is still on the next floor up at least. Got Biker Billy there. He's feral. He did. Okay, what do we got, man? Sniper Volume 7, Craft High Power 762 Ammunition. Uh, you know, I'm going to go for the research data right now. I think that's the higher priority. I think that's the higher priority. What's going on up here? That's probably a place. Oh, 10,000 hit points? No thanks. Yeah, that's probably a place I'm assuming we'll come to later, maybe. Let's sneak up into the kitchen here and see what we got. Okay. Old sink with some jars. There's another bookcase there. And a little soldier action. Okay, he did. What we got in here? Some presto logs. I love it. All right. Come on, hazmat worker. No, Walker. Hazmat Walker. It's not Worker, it's Walker. All right, there's some more research data, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we want. That is what we want. Did I already look in here? I didn't. Scrapping that, because I already have a couple of those, and scrapping that. Okay. Okay, so this... Zombo, uh, Zombo's already came out of here. Oh, let's take a look at that and look at this. Okay, that's not a lootable thing. This is where we came up right here. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Wash room. Medicine cabinet. Don't care about the toity. This goes into the garage. Any zombies in here? Oh, yeah. You did. And you did. This car lootable? Nope. Got a workstation here. We'll check the boxes. Nothing in there. Let's grab this concrete. Get my shovel down here. There is a box up here. Hey, that was pretty good stuff. A battery. And it looks like that's it for over here. However... There's something up there. There's a plug up there. All right. Is there a way to get up there without nerd pulling? I don't see anything obvious. Maybe uh, later on there's a way that we can get up there, but for now...
Ah. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. Okay. Uh, can we jump up here? Yes. Ah, look at that. Secret stash. Hidden stash. All right. We'll take it. We'll take it. Is there anything on the other side of this? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it does not look like it. Okay. That was quite well hidden. All right. Where do we go from here? So we go up. We go up. Yeah, we go this way. Satchel is on this floor. We probably got a Zika Ruski in here. Nope, maybe in here. If there is one in there, then we're not going to be able to see it from this angle. What is this, like the soldier house? You dead. Nope, and we got you too. Come on, Biker Billy. You dead, and don't be doing that crawling shit. Okay. We've got a laboratory in here with a sink. We've got a bedroom in here. More zombies? No, but that's where the satchel is. Fantastic. And a couple of bookshelves. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, let's wrench the bed. Let's see what's in here. T-shirt, we'll wrench this too. And what the hell, we'll wrench this too. Get all that good stuff. All right, we got a trash bag in there with some potato seeds. Bedroom. Nice, sniper rifle. We will learn that and we will scrap this. And uh, go in here. Nobody? A couple of clothing thingamadoodles. Oh, very nice, you guys. Look at that. That's got to be an upgrade, isn't it? What are we wearing right now? Indeed it is. Okay. So let's uh, modify this. We'll take the bandolier off. Put it on here. And we now have steel leg armor. I'll take it. Is this something? It is. Look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. Anything else? No. Nothing up there. All right. Let's check the sinks. And I think that's it for in here. There's another room over here. Let's check before we go upstairs. A little duct tape action. We'll always take duct tape. Well, nearly always. Okay. Did we check this? All right. Let's head on upstairs. Oh, look at that. More yucca juice. Uh, we've already, we've picked up a couple yucca juices now, haven't we? Let's what what do we have for those? It sounds good. Let's eat this charred meat just to open up a spot there. Getting rid of that glass. We'll scrap this and we'll scrap that. And uh, okay, that's good enough. Get the lamp here. What do we got going on up here? Nothing back that way.
Biker Billy's right there. Hey, cut that out. Feral yo. Oh, shit. We got, uh... Okay. We're not screwing around with Feral Hawaii 5 Oh, Ooh, what'd you drop, homie? That's some pretty nice stuff. You know what? I don't think I have that and this we need for uh, gumbo. So, yeah. Nice drops. Nice drops, boyos. And we are now at the end of our journey. Got a thing here. Oh, here. Let's grab this first so I don't accidentally destroy it. Popping pills and fat loots. Blueberry seed, we're going to scrap. Those are nice military boots. We're going to hang on to those because we might, um, I'm not, uh, we have, I think we have some military boots back at the base, but I'm not sure if they're better than these. So if we go do a stealth build at some, ooh, there we go, junk turret. And some five, five, sixes, we'll take it. And we will, oh, even more five, five, sixes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, wait, did I miss something over here? No, we got that. Uh, we didn't get this. And let's also grab this. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the trader for the turn in. Well, you don't look do, so good. friend. All right, let's see what you got, Mang. You did it. Great job. You got shit. Traveler. All right, we're going to take that. Next job. Fetch at Electric Utility Complex in the Northwest. That's the next one we'll do. No matter what, I'm grateful for everything you've done. All right. Mm, let me take a quick look at your inventory. I got a couple things I could quickly sell you. Ah, this. We'll sell you that. We got to get out of here, actually, because it's just about nighttime. All right. Well, you know what? Actually, that's good enough for now. We got to go. Come again. Um, so we came out with uh, 350 research data for this run, so that's not too bad. We're getting closer. We're a little over halfway now to 2,000, which is what we need for that gasoline schematic. So I am going to go back to the base, do the usual inventory management, and then I'm probably going to spend the evening mining, uh, well, as much as I can. The zombies are probably going to constantly attack as they usually do so i'll deal with them of course but i'm going to try and get some mining in tonight and then tomorrow we'll go out and about and just keep working quests and keep looking for that research data because i just you know i i need i want to get off this damn bicycle man it's such a pain in the ass it has no storage i run out of stamina and i want to get back to our motorized vehicles our motorcycle in particular um and uh you know so th that is really what i'm gunning for right now i think we're in pretty good shape for horde night if I decide to do nothing at all, um, I'm confident that our current horde setup is going to work fine for us in terms of just our survival. And so I'm not really too worried about that right now. Um, our biggest priority, like I said, is just getting that gasoline. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.